did that hard time affect America? In my concept-driven class, what it allows me to do is I'm able to overlap and come back to some of the most important history multiple times. So we've studied the Vietnam War as a product of the fear of the Cold War and our post-World War II reactions. We talk about the Vietnam War as a stimulus to the dissent and another form of dissent that breaks out in the 1960s. Now we're covering the Vietnam War as a response to foreign problems in our modern foreign policy. And so it allows us to really nail in on some of the more important events and come back to them in, in really authentic and applicable analysis. And it also allows us to differentiate that content for the higher level thinking students. If the class is centered around the big ideas and the big understandings and the analysis of it, they get that because we have talked about dissent for two weeks and students understand that idea of ways and reasons to oppose you know, power and they'll have some examples to be able to apply. The student that the history comes really easy to, that they suck it up like a sponge, they're going to have a multitude of examples and they will probably have been able to go even deeper in the um, sources I've given them and so they're going to have an understanding if there were 100 things to know they might know 99 of them. Now the student that it doesn't come that easy rather than trying to make them remember those 99 things I got them to remember the most important idea. They know the idea, they know the application of that history and that's where that personalization comes in a little bit that you know I'm going to set the base of what I need you to know um, you can do that. And if you just do the baseline all along, that's fine. You're going to walk out of here with a really good understanding of the importance of history.